Hello, my name's Samuel Keith Harris. I just wanted to mention that my books are out now on Amazon. So if you search Samuel Keith Harris, you'll find my first three books there. Thanks for watching. And so he says, I know I've sinned, so don't banish me from your presence. And Lord, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. He realizes his only hope is in God. His only hope is in the Holy Spirit. And because of his sin and it's offensive in the sight of God, he's crying out that God would not depart from him and that God would not take his spirit away from him. We need that once again in the church of America. We need to understand God's not playing around anymore. This is not okay to have rampant sin going on in our churches. If you're a new believer and you're struggling with sin, that's one thing. If we have rampant sin allowed in our congregations, we are trampling on the blood of Jesus Christ. We're treating God's grace lightly and we need the fear of God. We need the severity of God back in our midst and back in our churches. Amen. So verse 12 says, restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. He remembers the days when there was joy in the salvation of the Lord. Restore that to me, God. I've lost it. I don't know how to get it back, but I know that if I ask, I'll receive. So restore to me the joy of your salvation, God. I want to experience it once again.